This is InfoLife TV, headline news, February 1st. I'm Margot Dudkevich. Six gunmen opened fire on the Israeli embassy in Nukosho in the northwest African country of Mauritania early Friday morning, trading fire with guards before fleeing and screaming al Agba. Foreign ministry officials said no embassy staff were wounded in the attack. Labour Party Chairman Ehud Barak will neither quit the government nor push for immediate elections, but is deciding over the weekend whether to press hard for Kadima to replace Ehud Olmert with an alternative Prime Minister in the wake of the Winograd report, according to his associates. Captured IDF soldier Gilad Shalit is alive and in good condition. Hamas' Syria-based leader Khaled Masha was quoted as saying Thursday. In an interview set to be published Friday in the Italian weekly Panorama, Mashal said that Shalit's captors were treating him according to the law, but acted that he was astonished as to why Israel is so worried about one soldier when there are 12,000 Palestinians detained in Israeli jail. On Thursday, six years after the September 11 attacks, the remains of Ashdod resident Alona Avram were laid to rest. Avram was among the passengers on board United Airlines Flight 175, which crashed into the southern tower of the World Trade Center. The Jerusalem municipality has approved plans to establish a secular cemetery that will allow for civil burial, the city said Thursday. The proposal, which now needs state approval, would see construction of the secular cemetery in a new 350 dunam section of the main city cemetery in the Kavachul neighborhood. The civil cemetery will be run by Menucha Nechona. Half a year before the opening of the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, Israelis have already ordered about a thousand travel packages to attend events. Most of the travelers are going for a week to ten days, and the most sought-after sporting events are track and field and swimming. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.